a few thoughts. So one is, um, you know, who follows you and who doesn't. It, it's irrelevant, and I know that's like heresy, so I'll say yeah. it. Um, it's about getting your ideas out, and if certain people follow you and certain people don't, that's what it's about. But I, th- what I think, which, which I'm um, just the type of person I am. Um, if people are tweeting to get more followers, then you're doing the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. You've got to be tweeting because it's meaningful to mm-hmm. you. It's coming from your heart. You care about it. Like if I care about leaning my re- robot on the surface of the moon and sending back photos to the Earth, and people didn't follow me on that, I'm like, good for you. Like everyone, get yeah. off my list. Right? Actually, um, I've tweeted a few times about Free Basil, and I've lost followers. Really? As I've tweeted it, yeah, and and that probably has to do with the people that were following me originally, because my career and what I'm doing in life has shifted a little bit. Um, so, like a third grade teacher in Indiana isn't really going to care so much, and actually might be, you know, scared to, in some way, be associated with someone who's mm-hmm. speaking out mm-hmm. about this kind of thing. I think, um, I think the media. So I think this calls into question kind of this whole reputation and the social media and what we value and. Um, and I think it's important because reputation is important, but I also think you have to be true to who you are. I think people get caught up in a lot of numbers sometimes. And is it meaningful? And are we always talking to our own community? So part of the power of journalism now is we have a lot of local journalism happening. But we want to make sure the power of large main media is that you actually probably branch maybe to more people who are outside of your community. And part of the biggest challenge is, is to get the cross-section of dialogue going so it's not mm-hmm. bipolar.